Ever wondered how to make a successful B2B deal? Well, let's dive into that. B2B, or business-to-business -business deals, are transactions where one business provides a product or service to another business. These deals form the backbone of the modern business world and are a vital part of many companies' growth strategies. Now, why are they so important? Well, B2B deals can create long-term partnerships, open new markets, and even lead to substantial revenue growth. But like all good things, they come with their set of challenges. Many businesses grapple with identifying the right partners, negotiating terms, and even closing the deal. The process can be daunting, filled with complexities and nuances that might seem overwhelming. But don't worry, with the right knowledge and approach, these obstacles can be overcome. After all, every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. Knowing how to effectively make a B2B deal can be the key to your business's success. Identifying the right business partners is the first step towards a successful B2B deal. It's more than just picking any company out of a hat. It's about finding an organization that aligns with your business goals, needs, and culture. But how exactly do you do that? Well, it all starts with research. You need to understand your potential partner's business model, their needs, and what they can offer your business. This isn't just a surface-level understanding, but a deep dive into their operations. You need to know how they work, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and how they fit into the industry landscape. Look at their track record. Are they known for their reliability? Do they have a reputation for delivering on their promises? These are key factors to consider. A business partner with a solid track record is a good indication of their ability to meet your business needs. Next, evaluate their financial stability. It's important to partner with a business that is financially sound. A business that is struggling financially may not be able to deliver on their commitments or meet your expectations. Then consider their network. A potential business partner's connections could be invaluable to your business. They may be able to introduce you to new clients, provide you with resources, or offer insight into new markets. Don't forget to consider cultural fit. This doesn't mean you need to find a business that operates exactly like yours, but rather a business that shares similar values and ways of working. A good cultural fit can lead to a more harmonious and productive partnership. Finally, remember to listen to your instincts. Sometimes, a potential business partner may look great on paper, but something just doesn't feel right. Don't ignore those feelings. They might be telling you something important. Choosing the right business partner is not a decision to be taken lightly. It requires careful thought, thorough research, and a good understanding of your own business needs. But when done correctly, it can lead to a partnership that is beneficial for both parties and sets the foundation for a successful B2B deal. Choosing the right business partner can set the foundation for a successful B2B deal. Once you've identified a potential business partner, the next step is to approach them effectively. So how do we do this? Well, the first rule of thumb is to always be professional. This is a business interaction after all, and not a social gathering. Treat it as such. Make sure you're prepared to present your case with confidence, but also with respect for the other party's time and interests. Being respectful means understanding that the person or company you're approaching has their own set of priorities. They may not immediately see the value in what you're proposing. That's okay. Your job is not to convince them on the spot, but to spark their interest, to make them want to learn more. Another key aspect of approaching a potential business partner is clarity. Be clear about what you want and why you think it would be beneficial for both parties. This might seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people stumble at this point. They either undersell their proposal, making it seem uninteresting, or oversell it, making it seem unrealistic. Finding a balance is crucial. Also, remember that communication is a two-way street. Listen to what the other party has to say. Are they interested, skeptical? Do they have concerns or questions? Don't just talk at them, engage with them. This will not only help you understand their perspective better, but also build rapport, which can be a game changer in business dealings. Now, you might be wondering, should I approach them in person or via email or maybe a phone call? Well, there's no one size fits all answer here. It depends on the nature of your business, your relationship with the potential partner and their preferred mode of communication. But whichever method you choose, remember to keep it professional, respectful and clear. Lastly, 
Be patient, but persistent. Don't expect to seal the deal in the first conversation. It might take multiple interactions before you can move forward, but don't let that discourage you. Keep the lines of communication open, keep refining your pitch, and keep believing in the value of your proposal. A well-executed approach can set the tone for a successful B2B negotiation. So take your time, do your homework and approach with confidence. You've got this. Now you're ready to negotiate your B2B deal. This is where the real magic happens, the dance of give and take that can make or break the success of your business partnership. Let's dive into some strategies that can help you navigate the stage with grace and confidence. First and foremost, understand your partner's needs. This is not just about their business objectives, but also about their concerns, their constraints, their priorities. The more you know about what they want to achieve and the challenges they face, the better you can align your proposal to their needs. This is not about winning or losing. It's about creating a win-win scenario where both parties benefit. Next, be flexible. Negotiating is not about sticking to your guns till the bitter end. It's about being open to different possibilities and finding common ground. You might have to make some concessions, and that's okay. Remember, the goal is not to get everything you want, but to establish a mutually beneficial relationship. However, flexibility doesn't mean compromising on your core values or requirements. You should have a clear understanding of your non-negotiables, the things you cannot compromise on. It's important to stand firm on these points, but do so in a respectful and understanding manner. Communication is the third pillar of successful negotiation. Maintain open lines of communication with your potential partner. Be clear, concise, and consistent in your messages. Listen more than you speak, and when you do speak, make sure you're adding value to the conversation. Remember, negotiation is a dialogue, not a monologue. Lastly, don't rush the process. Good negotiations take time. Be patient, be persistent, and be prepared to walk away if the deal isn't right for you. It's better to miss out on a deal than to get trapped in a bad one. In conclusion, effective negotiation is not about outsmarting the other party. It's about understanding, flexibility, and open communication. It's about finding a balance between what you want and what your partner needs and creating a deal that benefits both parties. Successful negotiation is the heart of a successful B2B deal. With successful negotiation, you're ready to close the deal. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of closing a B2B deal. It's the moment of truth, the final act, the big finish. But it's not just about shaking hands and smiling for the camera. There's a lot more to it, and it all boils down to three key elements. Finalizing the details, signing contracts, and maintaining a positive relationship. First, let's talk about finalizing the details. This is where you dot the I's and cross the T's. You've done the groundwork, negotiated terms, and now it's time to ensure that every single detail is in place. This might include the scope of work, delivery timelines, payment terms, and so on. It's important to be thorough here because any ambiguity could lead to misunderstandings down the line. Make sure both parties are crystal clear on what has been agreed upon. Next up, the contract signing. This is the formal seal on the deal. It's a legal document that lays out the obligations of each party and provides a framework for resolving any disputes that may arise. Before signing, go through the contract with a fine tooth comb. If something doesn't make sense, ask questions. If something seems off, negotiate changes. Remember, the contract is there to protect both parties. So it's essential that it's fair and balanced. Finally, don't forget the importance of maintaining a positive relationship with your business partner. Closing the deal is not the end, rather it's the beginning of a new journey together. Treat your business partner with respect, keep communication lines open, and always strive for mutual benefit. This will lay the foundation for a long-lasting and fruitful business relationship. So, there you have it. Closing a B2B deal is not just about getting to the finish line, it's about setting the stage for a successful partnership finalize the details, sign the contract, and maintain a positive relationship. Do these things, and you're well on your way to a win-win arrangement. Closing the deal is the final step towards a successful B2B deal. And with that, you're ready to make your mark in the world of business-to-business -business transactions. Now that we've broken down the process of making a B2B deal, 
let's summarize what we've learned. We started by understanding what B2B deals are, the importance of identifying the right business partners, and the platforms that can facilitate these connections. We learned that due diligence and research are key to finding businesses that align with our goals and values. We then moved on to approaching the business partner. We discovered the importance of a well-structured proposal and how to present it effectively. Remember, first impressions count, so make sure your approach is professional and compelling. Next, we delved into the art of negotiation. We learned that successful negotiation is about finding a mutually beneficial agreement, not about winning or losing. Finally, we talked about closing the deal. We emphasized the importance of clear communication, understanding terms and conditions, and the follow-through that ensures a successful conclusion. With these steps in mind, you are now equipped to make a successful B2B deal. Thank you for watching.